I'm Julian with Futurism. Today, we're at the United Nations to talk with the world's first Minister of State for Artificial Intelligence. This designation is a really big deal. It would be a little bit like appointing a Secretary of AI to the United States Cabinet. But what does that mean exactly? Thanks so much for joining me today. Can you speak about this new position, uh, what it entails, and why the UA felt that it was necessary and timely to create this position? With regards to AI in specific, we understand in the UAE the, the positive and, and the potential for AI. We want to make sure that we leverage that, while at the same time overcoming the challenges that might be created by AI. We see Elon Musk and others talking about the dystopic future of, of AI. And I do think that there is some concern there, but it can be overcome if governments come together, if the right policies are put in place, if everyone is disciplined on really making sure that we are trying to achieve a utopic future. And that's why the UAE created this position. So it's really about uh, building the world of tomorrow and ensuring that we are building the world that we, we want to live in. Exactly. Can you speak a bit more about that positive impact? How, for example, do you see AI transforming education? I think not just education, I think AI will impact every single sector. With regards to education, it's going to help us create the content that we can deliver in the best way possible. Uh, today, what we've seen with the internet, for example, we've seen a generation that has so much knowledge, even more than you know all of history's you know, historians and, and uh, intellectuals combined. And that was just because the internet was able to provide us all of this data. Imagine if AI was able to actually help us deliver that content in a way that makes people understand it, memorize it, and, and be you know, uh, leaders and thought leaders in it. Yeah, it would revolutionize education completely. That's, that's what I think, exactly. So can you speak a bit about where you see the UAE in 2030? What are the long-term goals? We want to be the hub for AI and the use case of AI in government globally. Since we are at the forefront of the technology and today we are the first government to actually discuss this openly, we want to make sure that whatever is presented in the UAE and whatever is done in the UAE can be replicated elsewhere. And we want to share our thought leadership and our knowledge. So in that sense, we want to be the proving ground for the technology globally. We do believe that our society is ready and is willing to be a part of the future. We don't have the resistance that other countries might have. So we are very excited on what the potential might be for our country. What things are you doing today, or is the UAE doing today, to try and secure that future? We have many programs that are doing initiatives. The first of which is we want to establish a council with regards to AI globally. That council is going to focus on putting together recommendations for governments and the private sector to follow, um, more or less trying to, to stir the discussion on what needs to be done. The second thing is, uh, in the UAE, we want to enable people to become AI programmers, to understand what machine learning is, and to really be part of this revolution. And then third and most importantly, we want to try to showcase the, the prototyping of this technology, to, to use it in a way that, you know, the, the private sector can come and tell governments we've done it in the UAE, it has had very positive impact, or if it has negative impact, how we regulated it and stopped it and contained it. If there is something that you would like people to know about artificial intelligence, you could tell the world one thing about the potential impact of AI, what would that be? AI is not either negative or positive. It's in between. With every technology on Earth, it really depends on how we use it and how we implement it, and at the same time, what governments do with regards to it. People need to be part of the discussion. It's not one of these things that only a select group of people need to discuss and focus on.